Hey, this is Philip from Steetson Motor Co. And on today's episode, we're gonna show you how to install a short shifter into your classic Mini. All right, so on this car, we are gonna be installing a KAD short shifter. Now this is a rod change car, so it has a rod change uh, short shifter. There is also a remote change, uh, which uses a different short shifter. So if you are ordering one for your car, make sure you get the right shifter. So right now what we've done is just remove the shift boot from the car, just so you can see what we're working with with the stock shifter. First step will be to remove the stock shifter before we can install our new one. Once you've taken the shift boot off, to actually get the shifter out, it's really easy. It's pretty much on this top uh, ball here. You're gonna push down, rotate, and then you'll see it pops off, and you can actually just remove the whole shifter, just like that. Now, on some aftermarket shifters that aren't the KAD ones, you're gonna need to reuse some of the parts that come on this stock shifter. Uh, with the KAD one, however, it replaces the entire assembly, so you can pretty much just throw that away. All right, so once we have the stock shifter out, the next thing we need to do is knock out the two roll pins that hold the shifter in. Uh, the easiest way to do this, because you can't really get a hammer and a punch inside the way it sits, is to lower the entire shifter housing down underneath the car and then punch it out from there. So how we do that, there's just two half inch nuts that sit on the transmission tunnel here. We just take those off, the whole shifter housing will then drop and we'll be able to knock them out. So let's get those up. There you go, it's dropped out. And now we can go under the car. All right, so now we've got the shifter housing dropped down below and you can see right here is the roll pin uh, that we need to knock out. There's one on this side and there's one on this side. So with it hanging down here, we can use a small punch and just knock it out. Uh, I like to knock it from the outside in to the housing. Uh, just make sure that you find it afterwards, you don't leave it in there. Uh, sometimes it can be helpful to put a bit of a shop towel inside just to catch the roll pin when you knock it in. There we go, that's the first one popped out. All right, that's both of them. So we've knocked both the pins. They're um, sitting inside of the housing right now. Uh, while this is hanging down, if you notice that the rubber bushings that hold the uh, shifter housing are all worn or cracked, it's a good time to replace them. If not, then it's pretty much ready to go back up into the car. Yeah, I dropped it in there. One eternity later. So despite putting the shop towel in the top of the housing, I only caught one of the roll pins. Uh, if this happens to you, what you have to do is then just take off uh, six screws, Phillips head screws on the bottom here, and this little plate comes off and then you can retrieve your lost roll pin. But you definitely don't want to leave it in there because even if it doesn't seem like it's hitting anything, if it moves around and blocks up the shifter one day, um, and that will not be good news. So the way that the KAD short shifter works is it has two bolts right here and here that self tap and screw into the holes where the roll pins were located. So we need to take these out, put the hole housing back onto the stock shifter housing, making sure that these are aligned with the holes and thread them in. We've just got a 5 16 wrench here, and from inside we can just tighten up those two bolts, making sure they're aligned with the shifter housing, and they should uh, self-tap right into the side of the housing. So once those two bolts are tightened up, the shifter's pretty much installed. Just make sure that the two half inch nuts you took off in order to drop the shifter housing are tight, and you should be ready to put the shift boot back on. One last thing to remember is that there's actually a zerk fitting on the side of the shifter housing. You can hit it with your normal grease gun, lube it up, make sure that it shifts really nice. These KAD shifters are awesome. Big shout out to them. They make a great product. If you like our videos, please like and subscribe. It really helps out our channel, and thanks for watching.